One of the big new features of the Mythos expansion is to track and tame one of three legendary beasts. The Griffin, the Hydra and Cerberus. Each will take you on a winding narrative where every choice matters and could swing the mission to success or total failure. If playing a new mythical campaign, you will receive a message at turn 15 saying your mythical expedition can begin. Here you can see a new button has appeared. You can see all three of the monsters that you can go after and some background on each of the monster, as well as an overview of the monster's stats, abilities, campaign actions, new units and associated buildings. Take some time to read each of these carefully. You can only choose one monster to tame in a single campaign playthrough. Next, you'll be asked to choose a hunting party. Every unit added to your hunting party will increase the resources and administration costs it will take to start your expedition. Your unit pool will be made up of units you currently have access to, so it could be in your favour to wait a few turns to get some more powerful and high tier units, but this will come at a higher cost. Once you have enough resources, you can launch your expedition. After picking which expedition to go on, you will notice the icon has changed. Here you can see the progress of your band of explorers. You can check their experience level, any positive or negative effects, and you can see your last dilemma choice and what that did to your party. You will encounter a dilemma every other turn. Each dilemma will give you a few different options. Each of these options can not only give positive and negative effects to your party, but can also open or close off different choices down the line, so read them carefully. Once you've gone through several dilemmas, you will have the option to fight the monster. When you get to this point, you will need your faction leader to come along and help with the battle. During your expedition, it will be a wise idea to build your hero's army as strong as you can. When it comes to these monsters, you will need every man, harpy, giant and horse at your disposal. It's worth noting that this quest battle is the point of no return. You can abandon your expedition any time before this, losing all experience you've gained along the way, and you will also not reclaim any of the resources used to start the expedition. Each quest battle will be different, set in a custom-built battle map. Each will have their own goals for completing the battle. If you win the battle, you have access to the legendary monster. But if you fail, your faction leader will suffer the losses or be completely wiped out, meaning you have to wait and rebuild your hero's army before you can try the fight again. Think of these monsters as new types of agents. Even though they have uses on the campaign map, their focus is to be used in battle. As any unit in your army would, your monster can level up but unlike a normal unit, when the monster levels up, you can choose skills. Every monster has its own set of skills. Every time you level up, you get the choice of three skills that can make your monster stronger or their unique troops better. Each monster has its own unique currency that allows it to perform different actions. Each of these currencies are obtained in different ways depending on the monster. And finally, once a monster is unlocked, you will get new building options added to your settlements, which allow you to train the different unique units associated with that monster. Each of these legendary monsters offers something different and fun to your campaign and battles. Each expedition is different and can be done in several ways. The final quest battle will keep you on your toes, and who doesn't love running around the map with a giant monster at their side? Come <laughs> on!